What's up guys, my name is Mike and today going to be um, doing a little subscriber gameplay analysis review. That's a fucking long ass title, but um, anyways, so this subscriber of mine named Fresh Turtle wanted to get his gameplay reviewed. So um, what I'm going to do is review the gameplay and I'm going to show you maybe some, some mistakes he made. I'm not like the professional here, but maybe you guys can learn a few things if you want. So um, first thing off, he's, he's rushing right here. And uh, it's not a bad idea to rush, but this is a little mistake of him. He he creeped around the corner and expected to get a kill from that. And that's not too great because there's so many different ways to hide outside that when you creep around, especially with an SMG, if you were using the ACR, you might have a more of a chance. But it it's not a good idea to creep around corners when you're going into the open. You want to you want to go from cover to cover if you can. And then earlier on, he uh, he just was rushing a little too much. Now here, he's creeping again. Not a bad idea because he has cover. Um, you could call him a camper, but it's 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 pretty smart at this point because that is a very important position in the game. And I think it's a good idea to have at least one person doing that, no matter how annoying it is. Now over here, you you don't really want to look there because you're really going against cover they could shoot you and see when you pay attention too long outside of your area they will they'll, they'll come from behind now you should not be following that guy because more likely he would kill you you don't 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 follow someone around the corner ever don't do it don't ever follow someone around the corner no matter what gun you have it's going to get you killed maybe with a shotgun um, I'm not a professional with shotguns though, so I couldn't recommend anything. Don't don't run around the corner because they will always turn around on you. So, anyways, so now Turtle's rushing with the with the P90 somewhat decently. Um, it seems a little sketchy here though. Back that guy made the mistake earlier. He ran out in the open like a dumbass. You, of course, you don't want to do that. So now Turtle's playing pretty smart. He's behind cover. He's, you know, picking enemies off one by one. He's not getting into too much trouble. And he's staying down when he gets flashed. Um, I don't know how long he could keep that up in this game. But, of course, this shotgun user really must be pissing him off. Because he's killed him about three times. And, uh, you know, the only thing I could suggest against going against a shotgun user is to avoid him. And in most cases, that means running away. Alright, now, let's go back here really quick. So look over here. Look right here. What what's gonna happen basically is Turtle's gonna jump out that window. Ugh. Look at that. That's it's direct shot right on him. He's got his entire body out, ready to just jump. What the fuck? He looks crazy though. And um, you're you're basically screwed now. Honestly, I might have done the same mistake because you didn't see this guy until the last second. And basically at that point, running back inside, it'd be useless. So really, it's kind of just luck. I feel bad because that happens to me a lot too. Uh, I'm sure like most of us. But in most cases, it's probably not a good idea to jump out that window. And now you're going for the revenge kill. Like I said in my uh, last Modern Warfare 3 video, don't go for the revenge kill. But if you think you can handle it, then uh, sometimes you can get lucky. So in this case, you did. And you get two kills for free, which is always great to find someone with attack insert. Alright, so you jump out the window again. It's kind of a mistake, but you got a kill from it, so it's not too bad. It's just that, even though you can get a kill with it, sometimes it's just not worth it. And mo actually, most times it's best to just avoid it, because you never know what might pop out just as you jump. And I have the worst luck when it comes to that. And hey, you get a little lucky here. You uh, get a double, a triple kill, a triple feed. Uh, I should say, but that's pretty nice. That's, that's that was a good uh, way to break in. It was also more of luck of the draw because if they one of them was turned around for just a second and had their gun aimed at you, you would have been dead. Such is the case there. You had no cover, but they did, and they they jumped out of cover and surprised you in a way. And uh, that's the thing. You want to jump right to the left here. Jump here, and then if you see it's clear, maybe you could jump here, and then, you know, you're going to have to figure out which way you want to go early. Now, if you wanted to go this way, you could probably just do that, take a look, but that's also time-consuming, so it, you know, it's it's really, 
it can, it's a hard decision when you're faced with a, a room with two two ways of exiting, and uh, in that case, you were also completely open. Uh, just because you have an SMG does not mean that you are God. You you can't you can't do amazing with an SMG when you're completely exposed. And in that case, he was. I think he drop shotted you, and um, it would be a good idea to learn how to drop shot in situations like that. So that it would even the playing field. It doesn't matter whether you think drop shotting is immoral or not. It, it's still a viable tactic. And in the COD community, they're going to use whatever they want to uh, get them to win. Whether that be noob tubes or drop shotting or whatever. And look at this. Come on, turtle. Come on. Look, you made the same mistake again. I know that that's an easy way to get, a, get around. It, it's... You're... Okay, so... Honestly, you're being lazy about it because you don't want to spend the time exiting that building. You just want to get over there as quick as possible. But every single time, you have to understand, and I hope you take this as some good advice, but some guy is always going to be in that tower, and if that's what you're trying to do every time you get out of that, you're, you're not making any sense because there's already a guy there. They're going to shoot you. They're going to pop their head out every time you step out of this little area so I think you really really got to stop doing that um, take a few more few more seconds to just run around the map and uh, you know going around the map is always the best way to go because most of the time there's always an enemy in that tower that is going to shoot you there, there's just always some some guy camping in there same as to the right of him right now they're always in the hallway so um, if anything if you guys learn anything don't don't be lazy don't run around into the middle of the map just because that's the quicker way of getting the things. That's just, that's, that's a, you only on rare occasions should you use that. You want to be unpredictable about it. But uh, anyways, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little review, subscriber gameplay analysis review thingy. And uh, if you want your gameplay reviewed here, don't send me a 33-0 gameplay because how am I going to really review that? You did good. You know you did. I'm not trying to affirmate anybody. I want to help people when they do when they have a bad game and they think they could have done better on. So, I can only do this on PS3 as of right now. I don't really have an HD PVR for the Xbox or Honor for 3 for the Xbox. But if you have all PS3, add me on PS3 as mfowler3000. And um, when you get a when you get a gameplay something like this maybe, you know, something you could have done better on, send me a message saying, "Hey, it's on vault number 1, the gameplay or whatever." And, um, I'll check it out and, you know, I, I would love to keep doing this. So, Hey, um, just keep on sending them in and, uh, I'd love to keep doing this though. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, maybe share it if you think it could help other people. And, um, I hope to see you guys next time. And if you aren't a subscriber, maybe you'd be interested in subscribing. I don't know. Check out my other videos. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.